61A lecture number 32, announcements. The scheme project is due Tuesday. Earn an early submission bonus point by finishing on Monday. Homework 11 will be posted today. It's due next Thursday. And we're announcing a completely optional scheme recursive art contest, which is due a week from Monday. It's not really due in the sense that it's completely optional, but if you do decide to participate, we need your entry by a week from Monday. The contest is a 61A tradition where you're asked to use your interpreter, which you created, to create some art. Download schemecontest.zip, copy over the files from your interpreter, and then write a scheme program that renders a drawing. What kind of drawing? Well, anything you want, but this is the scheme recursive art contest, and so I do suggest that you make it recursive because that's a big theme in 61A. How will we tell who wins? Well, we'll just ask the other students. We're going to post a gallery of all the different submissions. And each submission can be described by a haiku. And at the end of the course, any students who decide can vote on their favorite art. And the popular favorite will get a very small amount of extra credit. I would not recommend trying to do this for extra credit, but instead, do it because you like generating art or you're interested in what your scheme interpreter can do. How do you draw something anyway? Well, here's all the scheme primitives that are built in to the interpreter that you've created. And one way that you can draw something is using turtle graphics, where you have a pen and you can move it around backwards and forward, or for example, in a circle, changing the color as you go in order to draw whatever you want. Looking for some examples, we've linked to past galleries, so you can see what kind of art was generated in previous semesters. Here you'll see the format of the gallery, is the image that was generated, a haiku describing it, and links to the code itself, and the primitives file that was used in case this student decided to extend the set of primitives that are built into the scheme interpreter. I do hope you participate. Looking at the gallery of scheme art is probably my favorite part of this whole course overall, and uh, it only turns out cool if you decide to participate. Thanks.